in the year 1750, the laybys of old England were absolutely bristling with layabouts, ready to whip out their weapons at the drop of a cocked hat. And the cockiest layabout of all was one Richard Turpin, commonly known as Big Dick, on account of the size of his uh, gun. Stand them to look up! What is it? Where have we stopped? It's Dick Turpin, ma'am. I don't think you've noticed what I've got here. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. I've seen bigger ones in my time. Only Sid James could play Big Dick with such a flash. <laughs> and he's the Reverend Flasher, too, on the choir. Which one of you is looking for Big Dick? He is. Barbara Windsor fills two roles very nicely. Oh. Kenneth Williams is a rather thick dick. You might just as well come quietly. I am Captain Fancy of the Bow Street Runners. And I'm Titania, Queen of all the Fairies. And Happy Jakes pulls out all the stops. You have a distinctive birthmark, sir, in a rather unusual place. Oh, well. Uh, he's not called a big dick for nothing. Bernard Breslau. <laughs> there are no flies on him. This is Joan Sims doing the turn of the century. Come on, let me have a look at it. Oh, <laughs> Kenneth Connor doing his bit. Come on, my girl. I'm going to have you in the lockdown. <laughs> this wench is Peter Butterworth, though he's really a Tom. The quicker that villain's caught, the better, eh, Tom? That's right, sir. No one's safe from Big Dick, and that's a fact. And who else but Jack Douglas slashing his way to fame? Seldom, if ever, have the carry-on crowd wrung out as many laughs in their quest to uncover Big Dick. Look out, sir! Oh. Filthy beast! Give me a bit of paper. Don't be silly, that pigeon will be miles away by now. Come back to the good old days with Peter Rogers, Gerald Thomas and the carry-on gang. Looks like we got another big success. Oh, sir! All I want is your forgiveness. They're all in it, looking for Dick. You've got to get on top of it! Oh. Dick's rights may not be strictly historical, but it's certainly hysterical every inch of the way. Little me in the 
king's own. Well, it's the best boozer in town. <laughs> it's not so much historical, it's hysterical. And it's Carry On Henry. Surgeon. Is this so? 
job first. First? First what? Baby. <laughs> huh? Charles Hawtrey is having a baby? Jim Dale, the handsome, hopeless hospital Romeo. <laughs> Table. Anita Harris. 